So I'm Captain Laura Schaefer. I am a 38F or force support officer and I've been serving for about five and a half years so far. Mm-hmm. And um, what, from your AFSC, what's kind of an important lesson you've kind of learned on the job or on the fly? Oh, so many lessons to learn, but definitely uh, slowing myself down and paying attention to detail is one thing that I've had to learn. Uh, working with records and especially records that affect pay and travel and people's careers, essentially. Um, I usually used to be like a really quick worker. Uh, that doesn't really fly with your making mistakes. So definitely slowing myself down, understanding that I need to take some time and make sure that it's a really good product before it goes forward. <laughs> so force support is deals with uh, manpower, personnel and services, which are three career fields that are enlisted combined into one. So you have to kind of know all of them. So um, we have the over in force support, you're over the base gym. Uh, and one day at Barksdale, our pipes burst everywhere. Uh, so it was all hands on deck, uh, making sure that we were scooping water outside of the gym. But after that, um, it's Louisiana, so an alligator was in the gym. So <laughs> then it turned into a rescue effort with, uh, we had to call local wildlife and fisheries to come see Berwyn, an alligator, out of our base gym. So I am from Annapolis, Maryland, and my dad was in the United States Navy band. So not your typical childhood military brat. Um, I never moved. So, but I was surrounded in the pomp and circumstance of the military parades, going to Arlington, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Um, so I got to witness a lot of military events and the prestige of like inauguration parades growing up. And that kind of just instilled this sense of pride in me. And I really wanted to like, that's something I wanted to like look forward to serving. I'm like, dang, that looks awesome. Like there's these people out there sacrificing their lives, putting themselves first. And that's something I really held on to. Oh, I love that my job is never the same. I will never hit the same position any assignment I go to. Um, I'm constantly learning and growing and understanding new things that just affect the entire base. So it's great to not do the same thing. And we heard that you were on maternity leave. How was that? It was great. I absolutely love being on maternity leave, but I love being back at work. Um, I have a beautiful five month old daughter named Lila. Um, She's a little spunky. So she was the light of my life and it's really interesting. It, it was weird not coming to work. I'm, I love working. And so having to take time to like heal and take care of a new human was definitely a good learning experience for me. Uh, I guess this one, oh, there so she precious. is. Oh my goodness. And then if you want Santa or Halloween, she was an alien and we were Woody and Jesse. So, yeah. Oh, that is precious. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. We are tired of always being the best. A wise man once said, iron sharpens iron. So how can we get better without any competition? best squadron of the top Air Force ROTC attachment of the greatest country in the world. You're not only proud of where you came from, but excited to see where you're going. I'm a musketeer. 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 I was like a. (laughs) (laughs) All for one! One goal!
Good, uh, good afternoon, sir. This is a uh, Cadet Gaznov calling for a. Uh, is a uh, is Sergeant Santiago? All right, thank you. Depending on when you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, sweet dreams, or for those of you who just woke up, good morning, sleepyhead. I am Cadet Major Walters, and with me I have uh, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Monica Gilliam, right? Uh, Annika. Monica. 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 Okay, good. Wait. Okay, thank Wait. you. Um, Miss Monica, so um, I hear that you like to inspect things in general. Um, so. I would like you, uh, could you just inspect this for me, actually? Is this a mouse? It's an art park, but... Sure. Uh, shoes are out of regs, pants are too short, and, uh, unauthorized tattoo. Thank you very much. Thank you. I should probably get that tattoo removed. Um, so, uh, uh, another question. What's your alignment? Uh, Taurus. Okay, chaotic evil, got it. Um, what kind of aliens are you going to be working with in, uh, in Area 51? That's a class squad. Cut that. Um, do you have any experience grilling asparagus? I kind of have. I need, I need some meal plan, plan. Grilling? Grilling asparagus. There's only one way to grow. It's not asparagus? No. Okay. Um, do you inspect uh, Matthias before going on a date? Yes. Not just before dates, but before we go anywhere. Okay, giving him feedback and everything? Yes. So okay. far, my efforts have, uh, so far they haven't worked. Okay. Have He's you... still never ready for an inspection. Okay, you've written, you know, given him written feedback and he's just... Written not feedback, meet. written disciplinary action. Okay. Nothing uh, worked. Oof. Sorry, Matthias. Um, have you ever been to Peru? Uh, actually, I was wondering that. Not Peru, no. Anywhere around? Anywhere around Peru? Mm, Where is Israel? Peru? Oh, okay. No, okay, no. Um, no, Asia. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. What is the status of the discipline on your dog? Um, I don't really want to talk about that one. I, I don't discipline them. So okay. I, it's a little weird, you know, professional versus private. I don't, I don't discipline them. Okay, understood. People are going to see me as real lax after this, after knowing I don't discipline my dog. Um, moving on, do you know uh, what your secret code name is going to be when you go into the secret world? Mm. I won't even have a name. That's the no name. Okay. No name. That's me. What's uh, the socio-economic landscape of uh, Uzbekistan right now? I think I think that's the dictator one. Really? Right? They they sent the balloon. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, this morning, uh, did you give yourself an LOC? 
What happened? Just can you explain that to me? This morning. This morning I missed training for the first time ever in my cadet career and no one called me. And so I'm planning on putting it in the LOC that my wingmen just, they didn't help me. But I am writing an LOC. It's the right thing to do. Okay, um, thank you. So thank you for your time, Monica. Um, Monica. Uh, Monica, thank you, Monica. Have a great day.